I have a confession to make. I am not a professional makeup artist. What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am Makia Danielle. If you are new here, I'm actually gonna do something completely different today. I've been doing style videos for the last couple weeks and it's only because I have been trying to pick my brain as far as what other content I want to make sure I touch on because I want to make sure I entertain everyone watching just as much as teach them things that I learn because I am still learning a lot about fashion and style and beauty and everything else under the sun. So I've been getting into beauty these last couple of years basically because one, I wanted to make sure I revamp my style. So I kind of let myself go. Should I say kind of? I actually did let myself go. Not to the point where I was just like not showering or anything like that, but more of just kind of like wearing the bare minimum just so I can get by the day as long as I look decent. And that was not the way to go. That's never the way to go. Because honey, when it comes to confidence and it comes to self care, taking care of yourself is definitely something that you want to stick to. But first, I have a confession to make. I am not a professional makeup artist. And as much as I love fashion and beauty, it pains me to let you know this, that I'm still learning y'all, seriously. I am still learning. And I just felt like this whole thing with learning how to do my makeup, whether it's a minimal look, whether it's a full coverage look, um, I'm going to try to master it. You know, I watch my favorites like Jackie Ina. I like Makeup Shea as well. And I have a list of others that I do watch as well. And I will list them at the bottom so you can know exactly who I kind of get my inspiration from or my lessons from. Because y'all, we all got to learn from somebody. Come on now. So I know previously I have done like my favorite full face makeup look when I take photo shoots of, well, when I do photo shoots of myself for my blog. Yeah, so I know I did that before and that was kind of like my quick learned um, full makeup process as far as taking pictures and stuff for my website. But on an everyday basis, I usually don't wear too much makeup because one, I work for a school district and I don't feel like it's really that much of a priority to have a beat face to help my students learn. So what I do is I try to have like a really quick minimal makeup look that will still enhance my features and make it look like I have something on, but I really don't have too many things on. So if you are just learning how to do makeup or you are interested in learning how to do makeup, but you don't want to wear a full beat face with foundation and all that stuff, stay tuned because I'm going to teach you what I know and what I've learned. And hopefully you can watch this video over and over again until you get the process down. So first things first, I had to get a little bit up close and personal to make sure you see the whole process and to make sure everything is like really clear. I'm looking off to the side because I want to make sure that I stay in the camera view and you can see exactly what I am doing. You always want to make sure you prep your skin, moisturize, and most importantly, you always need something like this guy here. This is a primer. This is the um, LA Girl Pro Prep primer i actually like this one because it's like a um i don't even know how to say it but it's almost like a cream consistency can we get in there yeah there we go yay i like the way it goes on my face so smoothly i feel like i don't know i'm like one of those girls that have like this big imagination on how products work underneath like a microscopic view but i feel like this one actually gets inside of like all those little lines and those pores and wrinkles and stuff that you might have so the next thing we're going to put on is actually one of the bases of every makeup look which is your foundation but this one is not your regular foundation this one actually is a tinted moisturizer um this one is from glossier i've featured this on like my instagram and my tiktok before this one i actually just got into this is the perfecting skin tint and this is in G3. They, um, I actually bought this in a set. It does come with the moisturizer and the concealer as well, but I don't use them together all the time. So sometimes I'll use just the two of them for like a nice little dewy hydrated look, or I will go ahead and use the other concealer as well. And I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna add my tinted moisturizer to basically just give me a nice little base to work on. 
and this is how I apply it. I'm gonna rub this in and I do use my fingers for this because I just wanna make sure that I apply this very gently on my face. I don't want to like rub or do too much when it comes to putting on the tinted moisturizer. And I wanna make sure that I get into the spots that I really, really want to get into. So yeah, after I get all this in, I'm gonna come closer so you can see. Look at that glisten, girl, listen. Look, girl, she look like she is hydrated. Okay, so I had to do a little setting change because I realized that my camera was on like a creative filter, which is like a vivid filter thought the sharpness was gonna be better but I realized it was showing me a little bit too orange because I'm not that orange but this is my actual complexion and my skin tone and I'll show you again up close can you get it together girlfriend there we go so as you can see here this nice little sheen um and I'm breaking out again oh my god um the nice little sheen that the tinted moisturizer leaves it does leave a nice summer glowy look all right so moving on um now that i have my base on i am going to use my favorite concealers to kind of um even out the dark areas on my face for this look i'm going to use my my la girl pro concealers and i have it in toffee and espresso i like to use these two to give me more of a coverage as far as um as far as the darkening under my eyes so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put that on. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with my eyebrows while I wait for my concealer to kind of like dry up a little bit to make it a little easier to blend in. So I know everybody does their eyebrows differently. I'm gonna get mine set and settled during this look. Now with the minimal makeup look, you really don't need too much makeup on them. So I'm gonna show you what I do as far as getting mine together. If you do like a serious eyebrow i'll try to make sure i link one of the best eyebrow tutorials that i can find below in the description just for you so i always start off with brushing mine up and i've seen that some girls actually use <laughs> soap to lay their eyebrows down but i've been using um like this wax that i have this styling wax i'll put that on it has coconut oil and avocado oil in it and it's been a minute i have quarantine eyebrows so don't judge just like some of y'all i am i have not been to the nail shop to get my eyebrows so for the sake of filling in my eyebrows because just because they're combed up really nicely i still like to blend in a little bit of color to fill in those little spots and stuff my go-to product right now is the la girl brow pomade um i've used different ones in the past but for some reason, I like how the pomade actually lays down my eyebrows and blends in perfectly without too much work. And this is like, um, this is in dark brown, by the way. But this is kind of like um, tattooing your eyebrows on. So it stays on all day. So if you can see the difference between the two, I try not to make my eyebrows look too, too thick. Because I don't want to look like a, <laughs> like a monster. And I'll go over my eyebrows once again with my brush to kind of like just make sure that the pomade is spread out the way I want it. And just a quick tip, whenever you are in between like your um, eyebrow waxings, you can always define your eyebrows by using your concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well because I think it's time for me to go ahead and tap, tap, tap in my concealer. So I'm gonna take this one and kind of like go underneath my eyebrows to help define the shape. Look at my mirror and I'm going to tap this stuff in. We're gonna fast forward through this. Alrighty then. I used to be a really big uh, Jim Carrey fan. Anybody like Jim Carrey? Let me know in the comments. I used to love his videos, he's so silly. Next, we're going to go to, since we were working on the eyebrows, we're going to go ahead and move it down to the eyes. This is the Wet Mouth Pencil, and this is in Baby Got Black. Baby Got Black. Okay. And then I'm using my very favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara with the big brush. Can we get in on that? Thank you, sweetheart. So with the pencil, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go 
um, and line my eye very thinly around the top lash and I'm going to work the magic on my waterline. I don't do the waterline too much but for the sake of the video to show my girls what I've learned I'm gonna do it so don't laugh at me if I start tearing up you do your liner you actually want to do a very thin line as close to your eyelash as possible if you can see right here I am making a really thin line okay so because you're just I mean you're just adding definition so I'm gonna do this one as well okay so I don't know if you can really see the difference but I mean that little line just kind of adds a little definition so I'm gonna do like my waterline now Whew. talk about concentration you know if it, it's it's kind of funny because it's like if you don't do this right you can look like you're crazy so just make sure you take your time with this sis. on to the mascara okay so this is that nice little liner look with the mascara. Now that we got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and move along to, boom, my favorite blush right now. You don't really have to use a blush, I don't think, but if you want to, I definitely recommend the um, Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. This one is in Rose Latte. I featured this one in a video before. Um, this one is actually like my favorite one to wear every day because it gives well i'll show you but this one i actually like to use it in different places so i'm gonna go ahead and use this as my blush i really like the cream blush by fenty beauty because it's like this sheer color um i'm not looking for too much and it has that a nice little dewy um finish as well but you see how nice and sheer like the makeup is you can tell you can see the, the big difference from when i first started the video and now basically so for my last trick we're going to do the lips i actually am going to do a lip gloss look that i've learned from tiktok i actually have i have full lips but if you can see here i have like a natural brown line that i have inherited from the women in my family so I don't have to put too much liner on when it comes to like my lip glosses and things like that but just to add a little more definition I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I really do like this trick and if you're a brown girl like me um, you can definitely try this and if you are a lighter chocolate complexion I definitely think you can do this as well you just have to make sure you buy the pencils that pretty much come close to your complexion to make it work so from what I learned in the video, what you'll need is a black and brown pencil. And then I have like my clear gloss that I'm gonna use. This is just a little simple um, dollar gloss that I got from my hair store. You can find that anywhere. And yeah, so we're gonna do that. You know what i decided i wanted to change my mind um of course the gloss will always go really good with this lighting but i feel like a little tint would be really cute just for the purposes of this video so i'm bringing in my myx butter gloss this one is in praline and oops can we can we do that yeah there we go so this one is in praline and let me show you the name just in case you want to go look for it and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add her in because she is a nice soft gloss. Okay, we're gonna fix the curls for the final shots. And bam, which I think did I do a good job? This is the finished look, you guys. This is definitely something that I would do every day when I return to work. Um, it really doesn't take this long of course with every other type of beauty tutorial video it takes forever for the process because we're so busy running our mouths but usually when I do this it only takes me anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes so there you have it this is the minimal makeup look 
kind of like a barely there but you know it's there um the whole point is to just make sure you are glammed up just enough to leave the house and cover up those blemishes and dark marks that you don't want to be seen if you really enjoyed this video i appreciate you being here i just need to know that by you clicking the like button below leave me a comment question whatever you have i would definitely make sure that i leave all the products that i used in the description box below alongside with the videos that i recommend for the eyebrow tutorial and other blog and blah, blah, and other beauty vloggers that i enjoy watching so you can learn more looks as well if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel because that lets me know that you love me that much you want to join the family and we are going to grow because i guarantee by the end of the year we are going to have a hundred strong also if you need a reminder of when i post if you want to be the first of the first to know when i post make sure you hit that bell as well and that will notify you every time i put a new video up also before i go just to get really serious there has been some really horrible tragedies happening in the u.s going on today and it's mostly in the black and brown community we all have to use our platforms we all have to speak up we all have to do what we can to make sure that everyone gets the fair justice that they deserve so i encourage everyone to do what you can to spread the word of um, equality and justice for all um, make sure you donate make sure you spread the word make sure you do whatever you can to help stop the nonsense because it's time for it to stop the systematic racism all of that needs to stop so i just had to get really serious and just let you guys know that i am definitely trying to make sure that i do my part by using my platforms and speaking up for um those that have not gotten justice get justice and people that are treated unfairly get treated fairly so i might not be able to do a lot but me just speaking out and using my voice i know that i can do enough so now on that note i do wish you all a great weekend and i thank you for joining me because i love and appreciate every last one of you